Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Spoonan here. Welcome back to Rocket League Update Season 17 trailer information, everything you need to know in today's episode. Season 17 now loading. The arcade opens up on December 4th. Now, this is really early for a trailer, so I was honestly pretty shocked, but I guess with Thanksgiving here, um, they wanted to release this now before, like, you know, obviously everything happens, but. Before we get into today's episode, trailer, everything you need to know, Streetwear has sponsored today's video, and Streetwear is a brand new lifestyle clothing brand inspired by minimalism and simplicity. Their online store just went live recently, and their clothing is very high quality. And if you use my code SPORTYDAN, you can get 10% off of your next order today. Follow the link in the description down below to place your order today. Now, they did come out with brand new designs for winter themed. I think they're absolutely fantastic. So definitely check them out. They are honestly beautiful, beautiful. But let's get into season 17. Here we go. We're going to watch the trailer. We're not going to break anything down in this trailer because there is a whole blog post. So let's take a look at here. Sadly, no sound, but Rocket League season 17. There's Neo Tokyo, brand new map. Get a high. Okay, we got the brand new car. That's original. I like it. It's original. Continue. Yes, no. Okay. I'll just shut up. I'm sorry. I talked way too much. Free play. Online free play. Okay. Okay. It. We got to take a look at the full blog here because it could be just something. It's pretty cool though. They, they definitely are highlighting online free play, which is really nice. There's the car. Now we're back into Neo Tokyo. Whoa. Oh. The GXT, yo, GXT versions are back. No way. Dude, we were just talking about this on stream yesterday. Okay, there's the goal explosion it looks like. Split shot. Rocket League is cooking. Rocket League is cooking. Oh, you can't pass the side. Dude, let's go. Oh, man, no, it's not a permanent game mode. Dude, a new game. Rocket League is cooking. I don't care what anybody says. New game mode, Rocket League Season 17, December 4th. Holy crap. So look at this split shot. Now you cannot cross the side of the field here. Look, this Fennec crosses and it gets demoed. Play during Frosty Fest. No, make it a permanent game mode. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get into the block here. We got a lot to learn here. Let's do this. Here we go. So Rocket League seven, Season 17 key art. Oh, dude, this looks sick. I don't care. This looks absolutely sick. So, Season 17 brings online free play as Rocket League heads to arcades. Neon street signs and arcade cabinets await as online free play debuts in Rocket League Season 17. High score, chasing and racing await in the uh, We Press Play on Rocket League Season 17. That was a weird sentence. My bad. Prepare to level up your soccer skills as this Neo Arcade inspired season kicks off on December 4th. In Season 17, try out the online free play feature, Battle for Supremacy in the Neo Tokyo Arcade Arena. A little disappointed about that, but we will take a look at it in a second. Master the new split shot game mode and look forward to leveling up a new Rocket Pass. So, first of all, two new features, gameplay features. So, for everybody saying it's not new, it technically is new. First of all, new game modes as well. Yeah, I'm going to be playing that for sure. Um, also, it's almost that time of the year again. Frosty Fest, Frosty Fest, man, I cannot talk. By the way, if anybody's wondering, it is an Octane hitbox, and it's an original, bro. It's an original. Let's go, and they have a GXT version. <sighs> I gotta stop the excitement because I cannot read. Um, Frosty Fest will be back for 2024. Keep an eye out for more details on Frosty, Fe Frosty Fest in the days ahead. So. You know, definitely hit that subscribe button with notifications on. Also, sorry, I can barely talk right now because of how hyped I am. Introducing online free-to-play. Okay, this is the biggest question. Now, you guys know I'm going to give my full honest opinions. Looking to hone your skills between high-octane matches or just have fun with friends? Drift into the all-new online free-play. The place to perfect, uh, the, play, the best place to perfect your air dribbles and ceiling shots with other players. You can create an online free play session directly from the main menu, post-match screen, or while searching for a game. Party leaders can create sessions, or you can start your own practice pitch. Okay. There's tons of new ways to customize the experience, too. Soccer, hoops, snow day, and drop shot game modes are all accessible, along with all the arenas already available in offline free to play. 
there's also boost options and goal reset settings to uh, play around with okay okay so honest opinions it is really cool that free play is bringing soccer hoop snow day and drop shot we have had that but it's bringing everything basically online so technically speaking there is nothing new regarding free play it's just online with friends so honestly de despite like it's basically just a private match which i am okay with but you know it's it's just interesting maybe we'll uh continue okay free play party lte celebrate the arrival of online free to play with the free play party lte going live on december 4th take the opportunity to practice and complete two challenges to unlock the power of friendship i'm sorry what black dicey wheels i'm sorry what <laughs> hold on so oh my gosh that is insanity black dicey wheels no that's insane so this is going to be a free play party lte going live on december 4th and you can get the power of friendship title and black dicey wheels for free for rocket league what is happening holy crap login reward and free play player anthem dude this is insanity to celebrate the new season all players who log in at any point from december 4th to march 5th will instantly receive the ice break banner oh that's clean i do like that one we'll get more we've got more where that came from too spruce up your audio arena experience by tuning into the shop later in december to claim free player anthem and season 17 theme song tokyo's machines play vip player anthem Keep an eye out on Rocket League's social channels for more details. So I'll definitely keep you updated with that one, but player anthems aren't really my type of, you know, they aren't really my type, but Icebreak Banner for free. So that's all you have to do is just log on. Sliding into Split Shot. This is it right here. This is what I'm excited for. A brand new game mode. The Split Shot LTM brings a fresh twist to the 3v3 Rocket League formula. Split Shot divides the teams across each half of the field, challenging players to score long range screamers. So that's basically volleyball but like for people who like you know may not be able to keep the ball as uh, um up as much they have talked about in the past so that's not coming out of thin air um they didn't want to do volleyball because some people can't keep the ball up or something like that so this is awesome i am a huge fan of this game mode 10 out of 10 absolutely 10 out of 10 for this game mode split shot heat seeker Heat Seeker debuts at the same time too, offering players all skill levels the chance to get in on the action and score some outrageous goals. Both of these LTMs are playable on the Neo Tokyo Arcade, DFH Stadium, Snowy, Manfield Snowy, Beckwith Snowy, Utopia Coliseum Snowy, and will be available from December 10th to 17th in dueling playlists. No, oh, make it official. Make it official. Oh my gosh. Say hello to the Neo Tokyo Arcade Arena. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, okay okay all right you know what i said i would give my full opinion on this and i will in a second soar through neon drenched metropolis of neo tokyo like never before with the neo tokyo arcade arena prepare to power up and push the limits of speed and style into this arcade themed reimagining of classic rock and league arena you know what i know it's another revamp of neo tokyo but it doesn't even look like neo tokyo now again they could have called this something else it's exactly like that aquamarine map that we had two seasons ago where it looks nothing like neo tokyo where they could have just called it another map and i would have been happy i'm actually a really big fan of this one i do love the way this looks i love the high score i love this little arcade things going on here i'm i'm a fan of it i it sucks it's called neo tokyo but i'm a big fan of it here we go rocket pass premium embrace the hype and get ready to travel back to the golden age of cabinet games Level through Season 17's Rocket Pass Premium tiers and fill up your inventory with the awesome loot. All right, so let's do this. So we got the brand new car unlocked, which is, I forget what, I forget what the name is. The Shokunin? Shokunin. I'm going to say that. that. That's good enough for me. You guys know I pronounce things wrong every time. Shokunin car, which looks like it's got a pretty good old school, I forget the game of it. I think it's like Gladiator. No, it's not Gladiator. Um, It's that space game. Space Invaders. I'm pretty sure that's Space Invaders, but like with cars, got some watermelon wheels we got a cool boost back here and that's it for that 11 out of 20 is a merc decal they always cook with the merc decals can we just talk about that like every time they always do good merc decals we have the pizza antenna got the trail to match the boost 
and some interesting wheels. 21 out of 30. Ooh, I like the look of those wheels. I love this decal too. Holy crap. So we got the decal for the Shakunin here. We got a arcade topper and we got these really clean wheels. Very nice wheels, I will say. 31 out of 40 here. We got these, ooh, another good set of wheels, another good set of wheels. It seems like we get the GXT version. I cannot express how excited I am that a GXT version is returning in Rocket League. Uh, we got the Shakunin GXT. We got a Dart. As a topper here, we got a phone, old school phone type style, um, like, you know, like a comic type style. And then we got this boost. Um, okay, yeah, so Sam is posted. Sam's honestly amazing. Um, but we got a cool boost back here. And we also got some cool wheels. 41 through 50 is a decal. Very interesting decal. It looks like it's a rose with a bird. We got a goal explosion back here. We got some inch. That looks like keypad wheels, like um, touchpad wheels. Um, D-pad, D-pad. I'm doing as best as I can, guys. Sometimes I'm slow. Um, we got a nice trail to match the boost as well, and then just an octane. Hopefully, it's not an octane only decal. We got the Shakuna again, or Shokunin. Uh, it's day one. Okay, it's gonna take me a little bit. Um, day. Uh, this has got the wheels here, um, which I think are pretty, not the best. They kind of remind me of other wheels that I remember seeing. And then we got the decal here. We got 61 through 70. We get another goal explosion that covers the entire map, which. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of done with. Um, it was great. It was awesome, but they got to stop now. We got a really cool trail here. We got some, ooh, it's like it, like the special edition of those one wheels, and I got to say, that is clean. I'm surprised they're not showing the GXT version anymore. We only saw it one time, and that's right here. Not even through tier 70, we don't even see the GXT version. We got a really cool decal for it, and then some trails. Like I said, a goal explosion and some wheels. So... Here we go. The Shakunin, Shakunin car body and the Shakunin GXT car body levels up your look this season. And if you're seeking for some of that old school cool, check out the Pixel Melon wheels for some retro vibes. And it wouldn't be Neo Tokyo without the Mech Mana decal. Mech Mania. <laughs> decal paired with the synth, synth Pop trail. Level up your style and leave your competition in the dust. All the rewards are only a glimpse of what's unlockable in this season's Rocket Pass. With over 70 plus tiers of rewards across free and premium, you won't need any cheat codes to look your best. So obviously, I will always showcase the Rocket Pass when it comes out on December 4th here. I'll showcase the tournament rewards, which will be next. Don't worry, everything will be going. You know, I'll still be doing all my showcases, show um, like everything. So don't worry. Here we go. This is what I'm nervous about because in seasons, uh, this season's tournament rewards were not the best. I didn't even play tournament rewards because I didn't even want to unlock them. Oh, there's no pic. Oh, there's nothing. There's no picture. Good job, Rocket League. A season 17 tournament rewards drop in to deliver a beastly makeover. Slip and slide in the arena with the chummy wheels. Sword of victory with the wing wraith boost and wing wraith trail. And embrace the spirit of the serpent with the king fang decal. Ooh, I like the name of that. Okay. Introducing community spotlights. We've introduced, we've, we're have we excited to introduce Rocket League's first ever in-game community spotlight where all players can claim a unique title from the item shop that features a beloved person from the rocket league community for season 17 world champion and renowned member of the community squishy muffins is our highlight head to the item shop between december 4th to december 10th to claim to claim your custom main squishy saver title grab your controller or keyboard and mouse and prepare to power up in season 17 the arcades open from december 4th until march 5th Whew! That was a lot to uncover, ladies and gentlemen, and I cannot be more excited about this. We're just going to do a quick review here. We'll start off strong here with this title. I don't see any decals like regarding like tournament items just yet, so sadly, not much going on there, but we will have, obviously, the Shakunin car body that has a Octane hitbox. And it has a GXT version. We got introducing online free to play, which, you know, it's hype, but it's it's basically an essentially a private match, kind of. Yes, free play party LT with black dicey wheels, bro. What is happening? What? Why? I'm excited, but why? Then we got login reward. You get a free player anthem. You get the ice break banner, which I will make a separate video about just for you guys. Um, just to remind you guys. Um, sliding into split shot. This is what I'm excited for. No one can tell me any differently. Split shot is going to be fun, and I am absolutely so excited to hop into split shot. 
We also have Split Shot Heat Seeker as well, which is insanity. Um, the Neo Tokyo Arcade Arena, they could have called it something else, and I probably would have never guessed. So, again, Rocket League, you need to start creating new names because, like, it's basically and essentially a brand new map. No offense. We got the Rocket Pass Premium, which does look decent. I never really give full reviews of the Rocket Pass until I've really seen everything. Uh, these wheels look cool. The GXT version is back, so huge plus for that. Um, the boosts look cool. The wheels, some of them look good. I, if I had to guess right now, the wheels are going to be the best thing of this Rocket Pass and the car. But other than those two, it's still iffy for me. Uh, we got new tournament rewards, which they didn't even show a picture of, and then community spotlight. So really awesome stuff i am so excited for this let me know if you guys are excited for this i honestly cannot wait let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you guys in the next episode